Welcome to the Great Detectives of Old Time Radio. From Boise, Idaho, this is your host, Adam Graham. If you have a comment, email it to me, box13 at greatdetectives.net. Follow us on Twitter at Radio Detectives and become one of our friends on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Radio Detectives. If you've not already, I do encourage you to check out my book, Slime Incorporated. It's a story of murder and dirty politics set against the backdrop of the Idaho gubernatorial election. It's my first ever detective novel, and it's available as a paperback, in audiobook through audible.com or the iTunes store, and wherever fine ebooks are sold. So uh, pick up your copy of Slime Incorporated. Now it's time for today's episode of Boston Blackie, the original air date, April the 27th, 1949. And this one is the construction contractor murder. Morgan, wait a minute. I want to talk to you. Well, well, if it isn't dynamite Thompson. Yes. What do you want to talk to me about? Don't act so innocent. What do you mean? The fairway construction job. My bid should have won. Only my bid was lower. By $500. That's the third time you've underbid me on a big contract. <laughs> How do you always figure your bid just a little less than mine? Oh, that is exciting. How come you've landed every big construction contract the last two years? Oh, come now, dynamite. You don't expect me to tell you. You don't have all to tell me I know. You've got a stooge planted in my outfit. I don't know who he is. When I find him, I'm going to take him apart just like I'm going to do to you right now. Think you're man enough? Stick around and find out. Are you two up, Brian? Maybe this way, show you Morgan. Look out, dynamite. You're leading with your skin. Okay, Morgan, okay. That's enough. Uh, Boston Blackie, the peacemaker. Who needs you? Now, you stay out of this. Yeah. It's private. Do tell. Had enough dynamite? No. I told you I'm going to tear you apart. I'm waiting. Look at him. Look at him. Wait up, Blackie. I'm going to kick this guy's face. Oh, yeah? You can't beat it, Morgan. Oh, no. I'll myself. Okay. Okay, but I'll be taking care of this chump some other time. That's your story, Morgan. I'll get even with you if it's the last thing you ever do. Now on to Dick Calmer as Boston Blackie, enemy to those who make him an enemy, friend to those who have no friends. Hello? Is this the charming Mrs. Thompson? <laughs> uh-huh. This is the lovable Mr. Thompson. Hello, honey. How are you, darling? Well, it's after 8 o'clock. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. I was stuck here at the office. I should be home in about half an hour. Good girl. Just call to say I'm leaving now. Dynamite. Uh, what is it, Sheila? Did you land the fairway construction contract? No. Morgan? Yep. Oh, not again. Yes? Dynamite, there's something crooked going on with that, Morgan. You just can't stand by and let him get away with it. Well, take it easy, Sheila. I know all that. I had a run-in with him today. Did? I've been working on a couple of angles. Yeah, but while you're working the angles, Morgan gets the contract. I know. Dynamite, how much longer can this go on? Well, we're head over heels in debt, and there's a payment. I know all that, Sheila. I told you I've been working a couple of angles. When I'm set, that'll be the end of Jack Morgan. <laughs> what are you doing here? Dynamite, who's there? Who just came into your office? Oh. Oh. Dynamite! Dynamite, what happened? Thompson building contractor, front dead in office. Waxy, Waxy, read all about it. Anything worth reading, Frankie? Oh, hello, Blackie. Say, uh, 
What is this, Waxtree? Waxtree. If they found Dynamite Thompson murdered in his office. Dynamite Thompson? You're kidding. Uh, I ain't, but I guarantee Dynamite Thompson wishes I was. <laughs> Good morning, Faraday. Oh, no, Jack. You didn't have to hang up the phone on account of me. I'd much rather hang you. What do you want, Blackie? I'm busy. What do I want? Mm -hmm. Yeah, who, what, or why? Faraday, my friend, the question is, what do you want? I just read about Diamond Thompson being killed in his office, and my instinct told me that you'd want me to help you find this killer. Now, go tell your instinct what a liar he is. (laughs) Now, get out of here, or you're the one who's going to need help. Okay, but you know my instinct. Isn't that enough? I know you. That should be sufficient for most people. Yeah. But, uh, look, I really came here to give you some details on the Thompson killing. All right, mastermind. So give and go. Thompson got into a street fight yesterday afternoon with another contractor named Jack Morgan. Mm-hmm. Morgan is a jerk with a business reputation to match. I see. When I broke up the fight, Morgan said that he'd come back and finish the job. Is that all, genius? Saturday, I just handed you a grade A suspect. Now you don't say. I could have sworn I did. Mm-hmm. Well, aren't you going to pick him up? I got news for you. I already got Morgan in jail. You went and arrested the killer all by yourself? Don't get excited, Blackie. I won't. Don't worry. Morgan has an alibi for last night. We're checking on it now. What is his alibi? He says he was with DeWitt Sloan and Simeon Palmer the entire evening, Mm -hmm. from 6 o'clock on to midnight. Sloan and Palmer? Sloan and Palmer. What's a sharp operator like Morgan doing with a couple of millionaire playboys? They're his money boys. They put up the dough for his construction job. Well, if they say he was with them, we let Morgan go and we start looking for another suspect. Have you thought of Paul Brent? Who's Brent and where does he come into this? Brent's another contractor who's been fighting Morgan and Thompson for every job in the last three years. And Brent killed Thompson? I didn't say that. Practically. I just asked if you'd thought of him, that's all. If Morgan's alibi holds up, you'll need somebody, Inspector. Don't tell me what I need. Okay, Carmen. You don't need a thing. And that includes brain. Mm -hmm. Uh, Can I talk to Morgan? I've already talked to him. He doesn't know anything. You two have so much in common. Mm-hmm. You see Brent, I'll see Morgan. You know, this I'm serious. Hey, watch it, baby. You put too much of a charge in that one. All that foot, you're ruining the foundation. You're supposed to cut across the corner, not run with it. Yes, yes, oh, you have to do the concrete set. Inspector Faraday, that's Paul Brent doing all the yelling. Oh, okay, okay, Alan. Should I go with you, sir? No, uh, you stay out of sight. Yes, sir. Excuse me, what's that scaffolding? I don't want any broken legs around here. Hey, Brent. What do you want, mister? A job? I'm off for I want to talk to you, Brent. You see me when the whistle blows on this, sir. So am I. I want to talk to you now. Ah, like that, huh? Yeah, that's right. Okay, what's your piece? You and I have got things to say to each other, but not here. Let's get out of here. Look, mister, I don't think you understand. we got a job to do, I'm busy. I'm Faraday of Homicide, and somebody wasn't too busy to do a job on Dynamite Thompson. Dynamite? Yeah. Come on, Brent, let's go. Okay, but in different directions. See you around, mister. Oh, no, you don't. Stop, i shoot. Get those men out of the way, Ronald. What happened, Inspector? As soon as I mentioned Dynamite, Brent flew up. Busted through that fence into the ravine. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Over here. I'm coming. There. Hey, your car's at bottom, all right. Bottom's up. Must be somebody in it. How do we get down there? Steep as a cliff. We're careful. We can make it. We? Oui, I'm not going down there. Come on. You're always wanting to find bodies. Let's go. I don't want to find bodies that bad. I'll stay up here and watch. You're going down with me. Okay, okay. But take it easy. Don't worry. I want to get down there in one piece. Follow me. Uh, right with you. Yeah. Careful. Hey, watch out for that rock. You'll start a landslide. I'm watching. Hey, Careful. you can grab under that tree branch sticking out of the side. Okay. I've got it. Got it? You all right, Smitty? Yeah. I feel like stand up so I can see. There. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Good. Let's see what there is in this car. Yeah. You're always looking.
looking for a body, we hit the jackpot. We got two bodies, not one. I still remember the street fight, Morgan. So do I, Blackie. But there's no reason to keep me here at headquarters. I didn't kill dynamite. I was with Sloan and Palmer from 6 o'clock on. We broke up after midnight. That's kind of a long meeting. Yes, we have them every week. Mm Mm-hmm. Sloan and Palmer may be big-shot millionaires, but they still want to know where every penny goes. Well, maybe that's why they're still millionaires. Yes, you've got a point there. I think so. But I can't understand why it should be so difficult to locate them. After all, they're not just a pair of chumps. Relax, Morgan. They'll turn up. I'm relaxed. I got nothing to worry about. But you have plenty to worry about, Blackie. Well, look who's here. Yeah. What do you know about Paul Grant? Oh, you went to see him, Charlie, huh? That's right. What'd he say? He didn't. He got away. But I got a dragnet out for him. He won't get far. Wait a minute. Hello? Yeah. What was that, Cooper? Oh. Okay, all right. Morgan, I got news for you. They found Sloan and Palmer? That's right. A patrol car picked them up. Okay, so they were found. Mm-hmm. Right. And they said I was with them last night, and now you can let me go. No, Morgan. Now I can lock you up. What? Did they lie about being with me? What's the story, Barney? Blackie Sloan and Palmer were found dead. What? Their car was driven through a fence into a ravine. But they were shot before their car was pushed over. Let's go, Morgan. Back to jail. Uh, Come hold on. it, Inspector. You say you went to talk to Brent and he ran away. Yeah. But don't you get the same idea. You're going to jail to stay. I'm not thinking of running. I don't have to. Someone killed my alibis. I think it's Brent. I was thinking the same thing. Sure, listen. Brent didn't like me and he knew I was spending the evening with Sloan and Palmer. What? How did he know that? I called him at his office. I told him Sloan and Palmer were with me. That was at 7 o'clock. Mm-hmm. An hour later, according to the time in the papers, Thompson was shot. Wait a minute. Are you trying to say that Brent killed Thompson, Sloan, and Palmer? Don't you get it, Inspector. Mm-hmm. No. Brent knew about my fight with Dynamite Thompson. He killed Dynamite and tried to pin it on me by getting rid of my alibis. Brent not only tried, he succeeded. Mm. He sure did a job on you. Well, Blackie, what'll I do? I don't know, but until Brent is in the long arm of the law, you don't have a leg to stand on. And now, back to Boston Blackie. Blackie stops the fight between two building contractors, Jack Morgan and Dynamite Thompson. That night, while calling his wife in the office, Dynamite is shot to death. Faraday arrests Jack Morgan for the murder. But Morgan has an airtight alibi. He was with Simeon Palmer and DeWitt Sloan, two millionaire playboys who are backing him financially. Faraday attempts to question another contractor, Paul Brent. But Brent escapes. When Faraday returns to the office, he learns that Sloan and Palmer have been murdered. Morgan is without an alibi. But Morgan accuses Paul Brent of engineering the whole thing, killing Dynamite Thompson and then pinning it on him by destroying his alibi. As we return to our story, Paul Brent has just entered his girlfriend's apartment. Quick, Mamie, close the door. Paul, what's the matter? Why, nothing, Mamie. Oh, Paul, what is it? Tell me. The, the police are after me. Police? Why? They think I killed Dynamite Thompson, but I got away. Oh, Paul, did you? Don't be a fool. I was here with you last night when Thompson was killed. Then why did you run away? Because then I'd have to tell him I was with you. And they'd find out we're married. Oh. You know what that means. Yes, that stupid reason I'm supposed to stay single. Right on the nose. I don't care. You tell them, Paul. Tell them you were here that we're married. No, no. Not yet, anyhow. But Paul... you got to let me stay here until things cool off. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. This is one place nobody will look for me. But suppose they do. Don't worry. I wasn't followed. I made sure of that. If you don't say anything, nobody will know. Oh, of course I won't say anything, but what if somebody else should walk in? Well, that's the chance we'll have to take. Oh, Paul. Paul, are we doing the right thing? You figure it out. I stay here and there's a chance. I leave and I wind up in jail. Okay. How are we doing the right thing, Mimi? Thanks. 
Ah, that's a tall order, but we'll do our best. After all, this is a case of murder, isn't it? Right. You may have read about it, Dynamite Thompson. Dynamite Thompson. Now, about that list, Corral. Oh, yes, yes, of course, Black Yes, Mr. Corral? Uh, will you please get me a list of all the suburban phone calls made from Paul Brent's office during the week? <laughs> Faraday. Uh, Faraday, I'll give you four to one that you haven't caught Brent yet. Okay, Blackie, so now you're a big, fat gambler. <laughs> what do you want? I think I know where to find Brent. Who told you? I found out that he had a girlfriend named Mimi. Mimi? She lives in the suburbs, and he called her from his office. Yeah, so what? I had the phone company check all the suburban calls made by Brent from his office till I found one belonging to a young lady named Mimi. It's very simple. You mean to tell me the phone company gave you that information? Oh, I forgot to tell you. I told them I was getting it to you. You? Now, uh, I'm going to get Brent... And I'll meet you and Morgan at his construction company in about an hour. Why at Morgan's construction company? Why not? I'm going to let these two contractors construct our murder case. Blackie to come in. Okay. His car stopped outside a minute ago. He's bringing Brent with him. Good. Oh, here he comes now. Inside, Brent. It's only your arm that was hurt when the car crashed. Your legs are okay. All right, let's go. Hi, Faraday. Hi. All right, Brent, you're under arrest for the murders of Thompson, Sloan, and Palmer. You're crazy. I didn't kill them. That was a lousy trick, Brent, trying to frame me. That was no frame, Morgan. You killed Diane. Turn up for both of you. you. You're not gonna... I said... That's better. Now, uh, Brent, you killed Dynamite Thompson. Try to make Morgan here take the rap. You knew that Sloan and Palmer would alibi for him, so you killed them, too. You're crazy. I don't know what you're talking about. Faraday, he's right. Brent doesn't know what you're talking about. What? Blackie, what are you saying? Brent didn't kill Dynamite Thompson, or DeWitt Sloan, or Simeon Palmer. Of course I didn't. Then who did? Morgan, you killed Dynamite. Blackie, I was with Sloan and Palmer at the time Dynamite was shot. No, you met them after you killed Dynamite and killed them both. Are you nuts? Why should I kill my own alibis, and why should I kill Dynamite? In the first place, they weren't your alibi. Oh, yes, they were. You weren't with them at the time of Dynamite's death, but you said you were, knowing they were already dead and couldn't deny it. That's figuring it kind of stupid, isn't it, Blackie? No, no. Not when I found out that Sloan and Palmer were getting ready to ditch you and start putting money into Thompson's company. That's a lie. Oh, no, it isn't. Dynamite Thompson's widow told me that Sloan had called her house and indicated he and his partner wanted to do business with her husband, and I can prove it. That's all I wanted to know. Okay, Morgan, let's go. No, no, you're not going to get me. I think I have this situation. Well, in here. Thanks, Blackie, for everything. What you didn't know is that I couldn't tell anybody where I was when Thompson was killed, so I had no alibi. Mimi? Yeah. I'm awfully glad she wasn't hurt when I cracked up my car a while ago. Yes, me too. Okay, Faraday. When Morgan comes to, lock him up. All right. As you know, it was Morgan, not Brent, here who did the killing. Brent's secretary took me to the whole thing. What? That he? That's right. But I... You had a date with her the night of the murder, remember? A date with Betty? Yeah, you were supposed to dictate to her, only you never showed up. She waited at the office for you till 11 o'clock. No Brent, no letters, no type, no phone call. Why does that make Morgan the killer? Morgan told us that Brent knew that he was with Sloan and Palmer because he called Brent at his office and told him just that. I see. How could he talk to Brent when Brent wasn't there? And there were no calls at the office. Mm, it's a good thing my secretary was working later. You'd never have known Morgan didn't call me. You're so right. Well, I, I got to get her a present. She deserves it. Know what to get her, Brent? Well, no. I would suggest a white horse. 
You want to see those dancing girls? <laughs> All right, Matilda. We can leave now. Oh, uh, what about this young man in front of us? He's asleep. I know. He slept through the better part of this tour. Well, let's wake him. I'm sure he doesn't want to miss any of time. Uh, hey, young man, uh, wake up. We're in Chinatown. Oh, my sit louder. Oh. Hey, set him for the show. Oh, wait till I get up. All right, young man. Oh, oh my. You thought I'm going to see. Oh, thank you, man. I can't. Oh, 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 there's something wrong with that young man. Oh, right, Matilda. There is something wrong with him. Oh, my there's heaven. a knife in his chest. Oh, dear, dear. He's, he's been murdered. Oh, <laughs> Welcome back. I didn't quite get the white horse comment at the end, uh, but uh, this is one of those cases where Blackie shows that no matter what business you go into, there are people willing to commit mass murder. All right, well, listener comments and fact now, and uh, we get this from M.L., writing from uh, Sarasota, uh, Florida, says... Uh, uh, thanks for your wonderful work with great detectives. In connection with these radio shows, what is meant by the announcer's statement to the effect that this program was transcribed in Hollywood? Uh, well, essentially what that means uh, is that uh, the program was recorded for rebroadcast later in uh, Hollywood. As opposed to a program that was broadcast live, Thanks so much for the question and for writing in. All right, I want to go ahead and thank our Patreon supporter of the day. Thank you to Willard. Willard's been one of our Patreon supporters since March, currently supporting us at the rookie level of $2 or more per month. Thank you so much for your support, Willard. And that will do it for now. Uh, next week, we'll be on vacation, uh, but uh, we'll be back in two weeks with another episode of Boston Blackie. And, of course, next week we'll have a nice rerun for uh, you to enjoy. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, join us back tomorrow for yours truly, Johnny Dollar. Uh, do send your comments to box13 at greatdetectives.net. Follow us on Twitter at Radio Detectives. And become one of our friends on Facebook, facebook.com slash radiodetectives. From Boise, Idaho, this is your host, Adam Graham, signing off.